So like most woodworkers, I started out in my garage. It was a very small two car, uh, six and a half to seven foot ceilings. And that's really where I got my start. Um, I built a lot of stuff out of there. I quickly outgrew it. So when I built this, um, it's only a 24 by 24. It's as big as the county would let me build. Although it was, it's amazing space, I'm super grateful for it. It is tight. And like I said before, I'm not a very clean person. So the dirtier it gets, the worse it is. So we've got seven to 10 years of just everything gets put in this like miter station catch all. So this is gonna get eliminated. It's gonna be part of the built in project. First step is dragging a trash can in here, getting everything cleaned out, and uh, just getting rid of stuff. I have to edit these final cuts for this project, plus the videos I made for Instagram, so I'm like so sick of watching the same thing over there. So on the vlog, I'm gonna blow you through this shop project like super fast. There's gonna be additional videos uh, down the road that are all edited and it shows more of the process, so just hang in there. So Pekin Hardwood has really has really been the first uh, hardwood store I've ever known of. Uh, when I moved up here, when I started woodworking, I got into a quick Google search and uh, Pekin and uh, Pekin Hardwood showed up. So I went and met the guys, and I really didn't know pretty much of anything. I didn't know how to count board foot. I didn't know really what species were, or how they reacted. Um, I didn't know anything about fez tool. I knew nothing. Um, I, it was all so brand new to me. Jason and Brad and Becky, they've all been so good about uh, really taking the time to teach me and um, answer any questions I may or may not have, whether I bought the material from them or not. And I think that's what sets a uh, company apart is, you know, how they treat someone. That's how I that's how I value someone is, is how well they treat you back. So uh, Pekin Hardwood has been extremely good to me throughout the my uh, woodworking career. So. I really appreciate all the hard work you guys do and everything you do for me. I ended up hanging these on the wall. I made these the wrong height. I made them the height of my miter saw stand, not the top of the miter saw. Either way. So I'm kicking around how to fix the idea. I was going to make another box up top that would have storage as well. So it was going to work out. Well, then I saw I had my ledge in my shop. So I ended up mounting them up on the ledge. Uh, which is about an inch and a half higher overall than I wanted to be, but it's gonna look great. I love the way they're floating. It was actually a blessing in disguise, so it works out good. I got a couple little uh, things I wanna end up doing tonight um, that I wanna add to this as I go. So that's what I'm working on now, check it out. I don't know if I vlogged much today. I, I, I don't think I did. I filmed a lot for uh, the project we're doing. But, you know, talking to my normal vlogging crew, I don't think I did. Uh, anyways, it was a busy day. We got a lot done. Uh, it's about 3 in the morning right now. Uh, I've been out here forever. Just I love doing stuff for myself. Like, I never get to do it. So when I finally do, I just want to go like hell and get it done. But as you can see, I got an upper. I got some lowers down. 
it's looking good so anyways we got christmas down home tomorrow we don't have to leave till noon so i want to get the most out of my night which i did my battery's about to die so i better say bye i don't know what vlog this is i haven't made a vlog in a while but i have a ton of content to create up to uh catch up on so anyways we'll see you here's what's happening on vlog 109 Heather got like stupid sick all night. And new pair of bib overalls. Check it out. Christmas gift from my in-laws.